Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy the reading. Keep in mind this is a general reading, a uh, general love reading. Some messages may or may not be for you. This is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but all signs are welcome. Yay, Virgo! Um, if you didn't catch yesterday's reading, I did a the next three months in love and general. So definitely go over click back on my channel if you want to see what's going to be happening for you and there will also be a link at the end of this video that you can click on and go check that out if you missed it for June, July, and August. Okay, Virgo, so let's see what's going on here. Oh, you've got love and I like you. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction, and somebody here is liking you. Romance is blooming, fun flirting, and wanting to date. Oh, I think that's a good start. <laughs> If you want to get a personal reading, you guys, there's a link in the description box below. You can book with Brandy or myself. Okay, you guys, let's see what else is going on here. This is a good... Oh, jeez, you got to be kidding. Engagement ring. Holla! There we go. Love is looking good. Love is looking good. Okay, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. It's all there. All right, Virgo. So, um, yeah, there's definitely going to be somebody coming in making a proposal or some kind of offer um, going into the month of June. Um, and we did see that in the reading that I did for the next three months. So let's see if we can get a little extra clarity. Okay, temperance, beautiful. All right, there we go. Let's see. Peace and harmony. Peace at last. Balance, harmony, coming into union with somebody. This is a divinely guided connection coming towards you. Let's see what else. Oh, wow the empress beautiful wow new beginning for sure um hmm venus ruled some of you might have like libra or taurus rising or in, in your venus somewhere in your chart as well um sagittarius is here so wow this is beautiful let me see here yeah you get a new beginning there's a new start definitely wow my gosh you got the star what the heck Virgo, <laughs> three major arcana. I mean, reading's done. See you tomorrow. All good things. Yeah, you definitely have a self-love thing going on here, which is beautiful. Um, liking yourself and um, some of you, I don't know, you're like, baby, I'm a star. Yo, I'm a star. I'm a superstar. So healing, hope, renewal. I mean, all of this is so amazing. I don't even know what to say. Okay. Oh my gosh, and you've got the High Priestess. Why all this? For real? I've never seen like so much Major Arcana. I mean, when we have Major Arcana happening in a reading, this basically means that this is like destiny. This is destined to happen. Intuitive understanding. I mean, okay. I'm going to try to clarify each one of these cards. So you could have a Sagittarius, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Cancer, or Pisces coming in as well. Okay, let me see clarify please temperance what's going on here with temperance for virgo okay I'll give you two cards wow you've got the lovers wow and the three of cups virgo i mean seriously there's definitely okay so there is a reunion happening here for some of you but there's also um making a love connection through a social community or group okay i do and gemini energy is here also I do feel like um, maybe you're going to a pool party. Um, well, I know we do have um, Memorial Day coming up here in the U.S., so might be some pool parties are heading down the beach um, at the end of the month here. I think this weekend actually kicks it off. Yeah, so um, I don't know. I'm going to do the weekend reading tomorrow, but kind of feeling like um, there's definitely... Uh, maybe a, there's a bartender or someone serving drinks and there's fun and there's like a love connection that gets made. Someone you connect with or someone that you meet is like super interested in you. Also, there could be like a mother figure or an older woman introducing you or having a party or, you know, going to do something. Yeah, there's definitely love in the air. This feels like like new love coming in here. I'm not going to take those too many. So let clarify the Empress. You might have like a friend who's having a baby. Also, maybe there's a party you're going to over the weekend, like a baby shower or something like that. Okay. Four of Pentacles. One more clarification card. So, okay. 
there is communication. So I feel like you'll get communication from another female or a female communicating to you, telling you that she has someone for you or she knows someone who likes you and um, that this person it's kind of like a secret like she pulls you to the side and says there's some what are we in high school <laughs> pulls you to the side and it's kind of like hey guess what just so you know um i have a friend that's like super super interested in you i have a, <clears throat> excuse me i have a friend that's super interested in you or i have a friend that you might want to meet um, so yeah, I do feel like there's this new kind of thing here where you're going to connect with somebody during, it feels like the end of May. Okay. Um, or there's this f a female that tells you, oh, they have a kind of a thing. Like they're a little, they like, like they're crushing on you. <laughs> they have like a thing for you. And I want you to meet my friend <laughs> or my brother or my sister or something along those lines. Okay. So I need for a couple. Um, this also could be like, so I did get an energy of renewal. So this could be somebody that your friend knows that maybe you also knew from the past. Um, I'm just kind of picking up like a vibe like, yo, my sister, my brother, like has liked you for a really long time. Is really interested in connecting with you. I don't know. This is like a third party hookup kind of thing. Not third party like cheating. This is like somebody else comes forward and kind of lets you know that somebody has an interest in you that somebody likes you i mean i love it okay let me see show me the fool i'm um, not the fool the star aquarius too did i say aquarius okay oh absolutely page of swords wow okay page of swords king of cups and the emperor wow they were here yesterday um Okay, so it could be an Aries also, um, and it could also be, oh, I just heard Pisces, Aries cusp, Cancer or Scorpio. So, um, hmm, Virgo, for some of you, there's a, a King of Cups or uh, there's a water sign or an Aries who's like keeping their eye on you. They're kind of watching you. Um, Yeah, I feel like this is kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if there's a connection here with these people, but I will say individually, there is someone here who's keeping an eye on you and they're watching you for some reason because they want to connect with you or have some kind of renewal with you. There is someone. So I feel like Virgo, you are kind of like meeting other people or you're, you're meeting people at some kind of party or an event over the weekend or going forward in the month of June. And someone is trying to introduce you to someone who actually is interested in you like they might know you from before or they they've seen you or this other person has talked about you to them and there's definitely like an interest but you also have someone else here who is kind of watching you from like the sidelines you know this person's like a bench warmer they're in the dugout and they're not up to bat they're hoping to be up to bat they want to be up to bat with you okay <laughs> but this person's like kind of wanting you to throw the first pitch you know yeah but they want to they want an opera they want a chance <laughs> this other person wants a chance with you <clears throat> okay i don't know who that is I don't know, but it sits on the hope card. It's hoping for an opportunity to get in the game with you. I feel like there's two different people playing out here, okay? Because I don't feel like <clears throat> this person, this King of Cups or this Emperor person is already showing up. Like you, I don't know, they show themselves. Okay, what's going on? What's going on? This reading's all over the damn place. Let me see the High Priestess. <clears throat> oh my goodness. There's so much communication coming towards you yeah also you have a secret admirer i just heard there's a secret admirer i don't know who would, i don't feel like it's somebody new that you're being introduced to i feel like it's somebody else and this it must be this emperor or this king of cups okay but what i'm hearing is um you're going to receive some type of communi secret communication. So you're going to get like um, like some text messages or phone calls from an unidentified person. Um, I feel like you're, you might be a little stalked. <laughs> you might be getting like a little stalked. Somebody who's really like watching you, Virgo. And <clears throat> yeah, I would keep your eyes and ears peeled 
for some text messages or phone calls from unknown numbers or just some strange things going on that kind of are like, hmm, that's weird. But you can't really prove or say anything. It's such a strange thing. Okay, let me just get another clarifying card for this. And there's going to be a lot of them. And you might be like, hmm, is this, like, am I being spammed by some kind of, you know, company or something? Is this a real, like, who is this from? And you might think that, then you might be like, wait, is this my previous person? Or is this, like, I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's just a weird kind of thing. Okay, so it's coming from a Queen of Cups. Yeah, so that kind of confirms that it's either a, a, a male, masculine or feminine water sign who's behind it, secretively, kind of behind it, communicating with you. Yeah, Virgo, I mean, I think you have a couple suitors. Like, I do. I feel like you've got someone who maybe is close to you, is trying to introduce you to somebody else. They could be, a like, a parent, or um, this could be somebody who is carrying a child, or is, you know, whether that's you're meeting somebody new who's pregnant or you're meeting a, like a friend who's like a mother figure or a father figure who is oh gosh some of you have like um this is such a weird message and i'm just gonna say it some of you have parents who are divorced and they're each trying to set you up with different people i just heard that it doesn't have to be your parents it could be like um another couple who are divorced that you are in contact with and they're trying to set you up to with different people this reading is all over the place please excuse i'm gonna like kind of do it again but i'm gonna do the celtic cross because there's a lot going on here virgo i feel like there's a lot of social activity i don't know i i don't see you doing any i just kind of feel like you get invited to a party or you get invited to something coming up and you go and also you have somebody who's like, hey, I want you to meet person X here. Um, they're interested in you. I've been talking about you. I've been telling them that you're single, you know, that kind of thing. And yeah, something happens there. But I feel like there's a different storyline also occurring where you've got somebody who is reaching out to you um, or as well as watching you, but they're reaching out to you secretly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the connection is here. Like I said, it could be a renew, like someone who's hopeful that you guys can get back together. Um, yeah, you got a lot of drama. Virgo, what's going on? Why do you have all this drama? All right, let me get into, I want to do the Celtic cross reading. All right, okay. show Virgo what the past energy is. Okay, beautiful. You've got the sun current. You've got temperance benefit you've got the ten of cups driving you've got the empress okay crowning you've got the four of swords coming towards you you've got the seven of wands position of you and your advice the three of wands external to you the ace of swords hopes and fears the three of swords the outcome the magician and the nine of pentacles bottom of the deck a decision yes you've got a decision virgo and we saw that in the beginning i mean <laughs> You may be presented with a decision weighing your options as well if you've got somebody new coming in and then you've got somebody else who's like trying to get a hold of you in some kind of weird sneaky way like what is that don't do that just like be direct don't be indirect okay so yeah okay hmm a little bit of grief <laughs> like virgo i don't know it's kind of like do you want to go back to somebody from the past or do you want to try to have something new with somebody else you put a lot of effort into yourself you know um and you've really been committed to yourself but it's like oh i don't know so the past you have the sun okay so i mean something was exposed or in the past there was a situation that was very positive or turned out very positive for you something came out into the light as well it might have been like this moving on kind of energy but also um joy about a new start in the past a new beginning leaving the out with the old in with the new so maybe like in the beginning of the year you had a new start in your life like the new year new year new me new year new beginning um that kind of energy now i feel like in the start of the year you might have been 
some of you might have been like very positive about having a new beginning in your life okay starting the year off on a good a new foot a good foot right let me see what else clarify because you get so much major arcana yeah super excited about something starting the new year off okay I don't know exactly what that was, but there was enthusiasm, passion, having a new beginning. Maybe there was conversation or communication with someone new, something like that, okay? Right now, you're in a good spot, though. I really feel like with temperance, it's like you're stable, okay? Emotionally stable and feeling very positive about having this Ten of Cups, okay? This happily ever after thing. And I feel like you're you're primed for it, Virgo. You're in a really good place. I mean, all these cards are amazing right here, like crowning down on you. You know, you've got peace. You've like, there's retreat. You're getting yourself currently into this like restful state, um, rest and relaxation, R&R. &R. You might be praying about, praying for or praying about pers a person, place or things. I mean, you're just like Virgo, I just like your energy here. Okay, even with the Empress driving the reading, it's definitely like um, you're still on that grind of New Year, New Me. So it's good. Okay, it's very good. Let me see. Yeah, you're just like in motion, Virgo. You're you're being very assertive with what you want in your life, and you're going after these things. Um, but in your headspace, it's like you know, I'm good. Okay. Now I know some of you might not feel that way and that's fine. Um, this isn't for all of you, but that four of swords in your headspace is really like restful solitude recovery. And I feel like, um, if some of you have started off the new year trying to get yourselves into a really good energy, I do feel like you've been doing that and you're doing well with that. Okay. Whatever that might mean for you, right? Even if you started off the new year with someone special, um, it's a, it's a very positive energy focusing on yourself, you know, and being hopeful about being able to have a happily ever after. You know what I mean? I know it sounds very fairy tale like but just because it's become so rare <laughs> anymore, it doesn't mean it's not attainable. It absolutely is attainable, okay? So what's the energy coming towards you, Virgo? You've got the seven of wands. Now, this is really like stand up and fight. This is defensive energy. All right, I want to see why. I want to see why. Why do you go from all of this to this? Protecting your space. Okay, so that's all right. So you're, you're battling yourself, Virgo, I feel. Protecting your own sacred space because there may be times when you feel like um, someone tries to victimize you or there may be times where your mental health tends to, I don't know, go down the rabbit hole with negative thinking and I feel like you're, you're definitely fighting back that energy with yourself, okay? You are, um, it feels like whenever, whenever you feel like you want to cry wolf i feel like there's this little angel on your shoulder that's like no we'll protect you you don't have to worry about that don't let this these mental health things um take over you're you're fighting back against that so you know that causes change right um there may be a tendency once in a while for you to feel like um I don't know, I want to say get kind of depressed or down about certain things in life or just maybe nothing's going on, but it's just a, I don't know, something, just negative thoughts that come in. And then you kind of, I see you fighting back against that. I don't know, Virgo, what you've been doing, but yeah, I feel like you... I feel like you're you're being kind to yourself and you're doing the whole self-love thing, but I also feel like you are not... Um, you're not going to let anything hold you back, even your own thoughts, you know. Um, I feel like when the devil comes in and tries to attack you, Virgo, you like you're standing there with your sword and your wand and you're like, get back, get back. You know, you're fighting back. Okay, so your advice here. Yeah, I love it. Keep keep looking forward. Keep your eye on the prize. I feel your your message here. Like this is the horizon, right? What you put out there, you get in return. So, you know, I feel like, Virgo, your ships will come in, and I feel like your advice is to stay positive about that, okay? Um, you see how this person, like, look at all the ships there on the water. This is a, this is an energy of someone who's, like, putting that energy out um, 
and waiting for the results to come back in. You know, your advice, honestly, is just to not give up. Threes are all about communication, harmony, expansion, enthusiasm, and advancement. And with that being the wand energy, this is like, this is, it's like an energy of, I don't know, just expansion, maybe even travel. It's like you, I feel like your advice is to just keep looking forward and trust that all the good that you put out there is going to come back to you, okay? And I feel like that's why you're fighting off any, I don't know, situations, people, places, or things, or just even your thoughts that try to, you know, keep you from progressing, okay? So this reading mostly feels like it's about, you know, it's about you, okay? Yep, you're keeping your eye on the prize here. You're very focused on the practical and all that can be, not all that can't be. Okay, so what's external to you? Ace of Swords. So there is going to be an initiation of some type of conversation. Somebody's going to reach out, Virgo. Let me see. What are they going to say? Somebody wants to talk to you, try to overcome some obstacles or some problems. Let me see. Okay, yeah, somebody's really stressed. They have a lot of anxiety and stress at this time. Okay. Oh, someone wants to um, tell you the truth. Yeah, Seven of Swords. So, yeah, you definitely have somebody reaching out, trying to communicate with you directly, you know, about some situation, a running away situation, or cheating or lying or um, being deceptive. And the anxiety that has caused this, there's definitely victory overcome some problems. So, Virgo, I do feel like someone's coming to talk to you. They want to talk to you about this stuff. And I don't know if it's about something you did or about something they've done. Okay, but whatever it is, it's an energy of coming forward to clear the air. Um, maybe even to... This is not somebody who got caught doing something. Um, this could also be somebody who wants to question and ask um, if you were cheating on them or if anything like that might have happened. But yeah, there's definitely a conversation... Um, I don't know, it, it, conversation if you stole, okay, or something about the way they behaved in a relationship, five of swords, hmm, are they coming to explain to Virgo, or try to clear the air, or give clarity, seeking truth about something that might have happened, mm. Mm -mm -mm. about a cutoff, about a uh, a very um, unhealthy relationship, something that was very toxic. Let me see. Oh my gosh, it's all about somebody's coming in to talk to you about something that's ended. This is a this is a, a surrender kind of situation, you know. And maybe like in the last reading, it has something to do with um, somebody who's watching you and sending you some kind of secretive messages that they want to talk to you. That's like. I don't know, Virgo, I feel like somebody here is not wanting to give up. They need, they're they seeking closure, at least, to start. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Virgo, what happened? <sighs> Tower, I mean, it just gets worse and worse as I go with this external energy to you. Um, <laughs> why did something end? Why did this get end? Why did, why I destroyed something? Why did you destroy something? Okay, whatever. Like, I mean, Virgo, your hopes and fears. I mean, got the Three of Swords. Like, I don't know who's hoping for the Three of Swords, but I do kind of feel like <sighs> there's some heartbreak. You might be hoping that somebody's going <sighs> to... I hope that you're not, but maybe you are. I mean, we're all human, right? You might be hoping that someone is really feeling the heart, the heart pains for... Um, something that they might have done I mean okay well if you are you are right you might be you might be hoping that they're you might be hoping that they're feeling the pain that they brought to you okay we're gonna move on from that right so the outcome you've got the magician here's a queen of swords and the hanged man wow I mean there's definitely an energy of like speaking peace for sure um and having a conversation about seeing things differently but the outcome is like you you staying single is what i feel 
for yourself, okay? Um, and having this new beginning in your life. I don't, I don't know, Virgo. I mean, it looks to me like you don't want to talk to somebody else. You, you know, if, if someone's trying to initiate a conversation with you, you might just kind of like talk back to them. You know, if they, if somebody was, if something ended or there was a toxic situation, you might communicate back with this person. It could be a Pisces. Um, where you're just kind of like, you know what? Um, I see things differently now. I have a different like kind of perspective of how things went. And, you know, I'm not waiting around and I'm just kind of like moving on. You know what I mean? I feel like you, you're going to have a conversation with someone about that. I do. I do. And, and I do feel like what in the beginning of the reading though, you're kind of, I don't know. I just, I feel like you're moving on like, or you already have, and you're just trying to like be happy in your life. But I do feel like there is someone who's not going to give up. <laughs> Virgo, someone is like, nope. Nope, I need to talk to you. I want to sort things out. Even if it's just closure, I'm really sorry, you know, I, that I did this. And I'm, you know, I'm sorry that it went this way, you know. Okay, I'm sorry I was unavailable. Even though we had great chemistry, you know, um, I'm still very attracted to you. I, you know, I just want to talk to you about things, you know. That I'm sorry I was unavailable to give you all you deserve. That kind of thing, yeah. And you might be unavailable for this person. You might say, you know, the perspective that I see is that I couldn't give you all you deserved. Like I wasn't able to meet your needs. You know, like it could have been another person that they had needs that, for example, maybe you could have met somebody's love needs. But if they just wanted to have a situation ship, that was a need that you couldn't meet. Right. You know what I mean? So even though the chemistry was there, like the attraction is what I mean. Okay, someone's undergoing a spiritual transformation. Yeah, Virgo. I mean, like everybody is. Okay, so I do feel like you're going through something as well. You're waking up to things. Somebody else is as well. Um, maybe an addiction. Somebody might have had like some kind of addiction that affected the relationship as well. It looks, Virgo, like you are, I don't know, you're just leaving it be. You're just getting on with getting on. You just keep on trucking, keeping it moving. Let me see here. Okay, vulnerability you can be completely vulnerable and open with this person because you've done the work, abundance flows to you now. So Virgo, like if you're gonna have a conversation with someone who um, is trying to come in and talk to you about whatever, you can be vulnerable in the sense of like, you can be open and tell the truth. Don't be afraid to like to tell the truth. Don't be afraid, don't stifle yourself. Don't let anybody stifle your ability to speak because it's really important. You have to be able to speak even if somebody, like, you can't care about what another person, like, of course you want to use tact and kindness, but, because that's who you are, but you can't really care about how anybody else is going to take it. That's, like, they're responsible for their own feelings, not you. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, but you should be care, careful and empathetic, you know, unless this is someone who was just, like, if you were dealing with a really nasty, abrasive person, you know, Virgo, I mean, then just don't respond at all. Okay, didn't just don't and if you don't respond, they're obviously gonna keep trying to get in contact with you. But I mean that's an entirely different reading. So we're not gonna really get into that. Okay. I think you don't need me to tell you that if you were dealing with someone who's super, super nasty, the best course of action is just to ignore them or gray rock. Okay. So you do have a soulmate energy coming in for you as well. Um and oh, your soulmate wants to apologize to you, can expect the apology you want to hear. Yeah, Virgo, I mean you know, I feel like it's kind of the same thing um, again and again and again. And I know some of you are like, I never got my apology. Okay. doesn't mean they're going to apology, but they give you an apology. But I do feel like if you thought this person was your soulmate, they definitely feel like you are to them. And I feel like they do want to apologize. So, you know, if you block them, like I said, or you just ignore them or gray rock them, they are going to keep trying because they're going to keep trying. Eventually, they'll give up once they see that there's like nothing there, like you're not responding, they'll give up. Um, I mean, it'd be really crazy if, they if they're chasing you for years and years and years and years. But um, there's definitely going to be some kind of an apology from somebody to kind of clear the air, give closure, get closure, whichever. But I still see you um, single sprinkle doing your own thing. You're not like you're good. <laughs> Virgo's like, sorry, I'm good. Virgo, yeah, I'm good. I'm all right. I don't need it, but thanks. I kind of feel like that's what's going on for you. I don't really see you trying to, 
you know, rehash the old, reconcile, bring up old stuff anymore. It looks like you're just, I don't know, done and done. Let me see what the Chinese signs are for this person and you. Chinese signs do we have for Virgo? Okay, year of the ox, year of the rooster, year of the monkey, year of the rat, year of the snake. There's a rooster again. And there's a snake again. Year of the dog. Year of the dragon. Year of the tiger. Okay, so it could be you, could be the other person, could be none of you. Don't worry about it. If it doesn't show up for you, it doesn't mean it's not your read. Um, all right, we're going to do, let's see. Oh, I want to get some Moon Patero messages here. What else does Virgo need to know going forward, the end of May into June? Okay. Yep, Virgo's non-committal. Virgo's like, nope, not committing to anybody. Singles of Pringle. Let's see what happens. Virgo, I just feel like you are, especially in regards to maybe a situation here with a particular person, you're not committing to anything. I feel like you're you're done. Like you're over. Like fine, that closure's for you, buddy. Okay, financial decision gets made for sure. You're not committing to anything yet until you are, um, like you have a financial decision coming up for you in the beginning of the, you know, the end of May into June. You have a financial decision, nothing that you're going to commit to yet. You may be presented with, you know, it could be something as simple as buying a home, giving a loan, receiving a loan, paying something back. Um... Uh, something to do with your taxes as well. I'm hearing you also have twin soul. Huh, could be a decision here about a twin soul connection here. Communicate your love to the divine. Be thankful for this twin soul love. You've been chosen for one another. Even when times are tough and seem back and forth, this love is meant to be. It's time to reconcile. Virgo's like, I don't know, Virgo. It doesn't look like you want to, but I feel like the other person does for sure. Somebody else wants to reconcile with you. Like I said, it just confirms it. Okay. Yeah. Negative thinking showed up in the reverse. So I do feel like you're, you're fighting that back. Okay. Getting rid of this negative thinking, getting into more positive, a positive mindset. Yeah. Fear and anxiety and negative thinking. You're battling that right now. And, um, I feel like you're going to overcome. Uh, some of you might have like general anxiety where you can't really explain why you're having the, this anxiety. But um, if you have general anxiety, it just means that your baseline is for some reason you've acquired a baseline of just feeling anxious for no reason. And I feel like with that, for you, it's good to just say, oh, it's just my general anxiety and then soothe yourself through that so it doesn't snowball, right? Um yeah okay you also have po yeah positive vibes yeah you can't be like you can't be positive and negative at the same time like it doesn't work like you, you have a choice okay um think positively or allow the negative thinking to snowball like you have a choice negative thinking and always has a residual of fear and anxiety. Negative thoughts snowball into huge fears and anxiety, anxieties, okay? But you can just kind of cut it off at the pass, nip it in the bud. When you have a negative thought, turn it into a positive one, go out in the sun, play with your kids, go to the playground, swim in the sea, play, play, play. Laughter and enjoyment, um, always fight. <laughs> um, fear and anxiety, right? So, I mean, if you're in a comedy club or something, you're watching something funny and you're laughing, it's kind of hard to be sad and fearful when you're laughing. I always like to say, like, the best way to overcome, I feel like your fears, anxiety is like, go outside and blow bubbles. <laughs> Like, you can't be an angry person while you're blowing bubbles. I've never seen an angry person blowing bubbles. Like, pff, pff, screw these bubbles. No, I mean, bubbles are fun and they're happy. So, I don't know. Go to the dollar store, Virgo. Get yourself, like, a little small container of bubbles and go sit outside somewhere and just sit there for, like, 10 minutes just blow bubbles and the breathing will help calm you and the bubbles are distracting and they're fun to watch and I like I don't know I, like I'm not a therapist but I know like 
bubbles bring the playfulness and the joy out in you, right? Like a child. <laughs> so there, that's your homework this weekend. Go blow some bubbles. Um, do something fun and enjoy your life. The energy is strong and powerful and all the world is your play place. Just love your life, Virgo. Go blow some bubbles. I often blow bubbles with my grandson and I just like, it's so relaxing. And he just chases the bubbles everywhere. And it's so fun to watch him because he thinks he's like this dragon bubble slayer. He's out there punching the bubbles. <laughs> and he's like, yes. And then I like shoot out about 30 more at him. <laughs> Reflect. Also go into your cave. You need to regroup and recollect. A lot is going on. You need some alone time. Stay in the stillness and the quiet, but don't get lost there. Tell people you're taking a vacation and pull out for a little bit. You need a recharge. So, you know, if you're dealing with someone who's like a highly logical person, um, hmm. if you've got like um, uh, an air sign that you're connecting with or this is an air sign coming in to talk to you especially whether it's their sun moon rising or venus um or they want to talk to you about something i feel like it like if you're just not going to talk to them then fine this isn't for you but if you do i feel like there might be um a message here that you, you know you you could say hey we can talk can we talk about it later or just kind of like push off a little bit you know what i mean <clears throat> I don't know. I just feel like that's a specific message for you um, in regards to that. Okay, let's move on and see what your other messages are here, Virgo. All right, let me see. Names, random messages here for Virgo. Okay, I feel like we always get the letter C. Someone's name, initial C. Okay. And somebody is wearing red either right now or will be like, or that's their favorite color. It's almost like a salmon color. Maybe like it's a reddish, orangey, peachy kind of color. Um, all right. Somebody has like a Shetland sheepdog, a Sheltie Shetland sheepdog. Beautiful, like a miniature lassie or a miniature... Oh, what are those dogs called? I can't remember what they're called. <laughs> I'm sure you know. They have the long snouts and really long, beautiful hair. I forget what the hell they're called. I guess they're sheep dogs. I don't know, like a lassie. Um, but you might have like a small one or someone has a miniature one. Maybe not you. It could be another person. Um, also, let me see. Hmm. Okay. And then I just heard someone say, can we talk about me and you? Can we talk about me and you? I guess it should be you and I. <laughs> I'm a, uh, okay, someone was... All right, they're giving me... It's either the year 1989 or August 9th. Okay. And someone is from... Um, hmm. The Middle East. I'm also picking up. Uh, and somebody got married in August of 1997 or had a child in August of 1997. Maybe you were born then. Okay. You could have been born there. Maybe that's your birthday. Sometime like the month of August 1997. Somebody wear Uggs. Who's wearing Uggs? Is somebody wearing Uggs? I mean, it's too, isn't it a little warm for Uggs? Maybe not. Or maybe it's cold where you are. Somebody's wearing Uggs. Ugg boots? Or I guess they come in other, other way, other shoes. But yeah, somebody's got Uggs on. Maybe slippers. Let me see what else is going on here for you, Virgo. Okay. You just said requeem for a dream. What the heck does that mean? Requeem for, for a dream. R-E-Q-U-I... Requeem. I don't know how to spell it. Requeem for a dream. Mm, and um, G7. I'm hearing G7. And also, um, there's someone here who's very, very psychic. And it's not me. One of you here is extremely psychic. Like, you have some serious, deep, intuitive energies. Um 
you might have like be heavy water in your chart but some yeah you've got like virgo i just feel like one of you here i don't know who it is um very deeply intuitive almost psychic and or you have like deep in psychic insights and i feel like you keep questioning yourself or, or just not trusting yourself so I feel like you need to start trusting yourself, you know, even when it doesn't make sense, it's okay, you can still trust it. That's kind of like having faith. But yeah, uh, I feel like it's a real specific message for someone about your deep intuitive insights. Um, maybe you're trying to hone your skills in that area. All right, I'm going to get two more and I'm going to move on to your, your dice. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, they just said something's going on with somebody's knee, kneecap or their knee. Okay. Take good care of your knee or somebody on their knee coming in with a proposal, Virgo, as well. Um, all right. And then they're just showing me those little dandelion wishes that grow out in the grass. Maybe you are um, seeing them or you pick one up and you make a wish. <laughs> you know, I know we're all adults here, but I can honestly say that's something I would do at my old age. I love those things. So uh, maybe you're going to do that or you see somebody doing that. There's a child doing something with those or you're teaching a child how to do that as well. Blow on those little wishes, make a wish kind of thing. Um, if you see that, I do feel like if you see one of those wishy dandelion weeds definitely pick one and you know start putting your your intentions and wishes blow on those things out into the universe i feel like that's really good for the soul that's soup for the soul wishes for the soul and um somebody's i feel like somebody's going to either be renting out a room or an apartment either to someone or for yourself or for another person or showing it maybe as an agent where there's kind of like um, I'm seeing hardwood floors and kind of looks like this windows kind of slanted a little bit and dark wood trim yeah maybe you're in an attic or and look there's a spotlight here too so there might be some maybe it's a gallery of some sort doing some work somewhere someone with really blonde hair as well all right let me get into your dice Whew, Sagittarius in the house, Capricorn, Gemini, and Aquarius. Wow, that's quite a mix. Okay, someone is 50 years of age. Um, someone's born in 1985. And then we've got someone 1999. Okay. 7 Eleven. Someone goes to 7-Eleven, and then you've got the number. Maybe it's an area code 510, okay? Let me see what else is going on here for you, Virgo. All right, you've got September 17th. Um, okay, 811 or 118304, 1981. And someone is September 9th. Birthday is September 9th. Someone's also 51, turning 51. All right, September birthdays, August birthdays. What do we have here? Um, August 24th and September 8th. Um, September 7th, August 28th, um, September 3rd. Okay. And let me just get your signs again. See if there's any other signs significant. Gemini again, Taurus, Sagittarius, and Virgo. And one more. Oh, we got Aries, Leo, Capricorn, and Gemini. Okay, those signs seem to be kind of prominent. They mean something, or the numbers at least. And we're going to do your charms. Okay, you've got a moon with a kitty cat. Isn't that sweet? How precious or somebody's tied a butterfly to a horseshoe I don't know moon with a kitty cat so it's like a quarter moon this is kind of like 
And that moon is really rugged. I feel like somebody's getting a tattoo. Moon with a kitty. Or someone has a cat or a cat named Moon. What a cute name. Cat. I don't know. I'm not a cat person, but somebody's got a cat with a moon. There's something to do with a cat with a moon. And cats are very, um, yeah, there's another cat here. Cats are very intuitive, definitely. Hold on, you guys. I'm getting another message. Get another charm for you. Gosh. Okay. So there's something going on here, you guys. I don't know. Let me say now. It's a quarter moon. And I just want you to know. Yeah, because you keep getting this. There's like a quarter moon. Also, the initial C um, is significant. So I just lost it. So if there's a number, C, uh, the letter C, if your name starts with a C, or there's a significance to the letter C, okay, that and that showed up immediately. I feel like um, you also need to know that May 27th, which is this weekend, is also a quarter moon. So there's something significant about this weekend, especially starting this weekend. And I know we're just like four or five days, six, seven days away, a week away from the end of May going into the beginning of June. But there's very something significant beginning over this weekend in regards to all of this energy, even the beginning of the reading as well. All right, so keep that in mind. But I will be back here tomorrow to do your weekend reading to see specifically how your weekend's going to play out. So definitely put a like on the video if you enjoy. As soon as you click off, just hit like. Two seconds, I would be so appreciative of that. And and please put a subscribe um, on the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, that would be even better. We're almost up to the 40,000 subscribers, which is great. I mean, I'm just so happy about that. And it'd be great if we can like just keep it going and keep it going. So, all right, you guys, personal reading link is in the link uh, description box below. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day, evening, and make good choices, love each other, and be happy. All right, bye.